Mrs. Davis. Guess who? Dr. Cooper. That's right, good job. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you wanted to see me? Yes, uh, welcome back. Thank you. I assume you'd like to reopen our dialogue about the university forcing me to continue with string theory? You mean the dialogue that went, please no, please no, please no. That's the one. <laughs> I believe you went last, so uh, please. Dr. Cooper, while you were away, we came up with the solution that would allow you to change your field of study. Wow. Which, uh, pouting and running away actually worked. <laughs> Yeah, I must say, that may not be a lesson you want to reinforce with me. <laughs> so, um, what is the solution? Currently, you're being paid under a grant to specifically research string theory. If we promote you to junior professor, you'll be able to choose whatever field of research you'd like. But if I'm a professor, then I'll have to teach a class. That is correct. So your solution is to promote me and pay me more money so that I can impart my knowledge to the next generation of scientists? Yes. You people are sick. Hey, ready to go to lunch? Just give me a minute. I'm stimulating the pleasure cells of this starfish. I just need to turn it off. Well, what happens if you don't? Then I have to sit through lunch knowing this starfish is having a better day than I am. <laughs> is Bernadette meeting us at the restaurant? Uh, no, actually, I didn't invite her. How come? Well, ever since she helped me get this job, she won't stop bugging me. Well, I think she just wants you to do well, and she's worried that you won't, because you were just a stunningly poor waitress. <laughs> that is not true. I'm still waiting on my mini corn dogs from two years ago. <laughs> I told you they'll be right out. <laughs> okay, so no Bernadette. Well, you saw her the other night. Am I wrong? No, I just, I feel kind of uncomfortable talking about her like this. Usually when someone's being talked about behind their back, it's me and it's right in front of my face. I'm sorry, I just need a little break from her. I understand. You know, there is some research that indicates that sharing negative attitudes about a third party can be a powerful bonding force between two friends. <laughs> So what are you saying? I'm saying in the spirit of science, what is that little skank's problem? <laughs> so I've been trying to come up with a cute couple's nickname for me and Emily. What do you like better? Emipali? <laughs> or Kutra Pemily? Why is it your last name and her first name? Oh, well, her last name is Sweeney, and something just didn't seem right about Cutropini. Hey, got to go with human resources. Awful. They're allowing me to move on from string theory, but they made me a junior professor and are requiring me to teach a class. I don't understand. Why is it bad that you have to teach? What a stupid question. <laughs> the kids are going to love you. I can't believe I have to waste my time babysitting a bunch of grad students who probably think dark matter is what's in their diapers. This might not be that bad. You like telling people they're wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Just because I enjoyed that one doesn't mean I always do. You enjoy giving people grades? A valid point, but unoriginal, B minus. <laughs> You love the sound of your own voice. Yeah, well, of course I do. Listen to it. It's just like an earful of melted caramel. <laughs> Most importantly, this will let you move on and study dark matter. It is true that many of my heroes have taken students under their wings. Feynman, Einstein, Professor X. <laughs> Humorously, in the case of Professor X, some of his students actually had wings. <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> I'll use that one to lighten the mood after my entire class fails the midterm. 